Hello, my name is Paul Weiss and I'm with Eucalyptus Technical Marketing. This is the part two of the two-part series installing Eucalyptus using Fast Start. Part two is installing the cloud controller. If you've not already done so, please be sure to check out part one and install the node controller first. I have edited out parts of the installation where we wait for the system to do something and the video does run pretty quickly. If you have to pause to look at the technical aspects of the video, please do so. Let's get started. First, we, we boot from our installation media and we choose Cloud Front End. And the first choice we need to make is to say yes, discard any of the data that's on our disk. And we may make our installation language choice and our keyboard choice. Provide a host name. In this case, I just called it uh, clc.vlab.local. And then configure the network. As there's no DHCP on this network that will be provided by the cloud, uh, we, make sure, we must make sure that we manually uh, configure our network. IP address, NetMask, Gateway, and then our DNS servers. Next, we choose our time zone. Root password and confirm it. And yes, we want to replace any existing Linux installation on this disk. The installation will run for a little bit. I'm going to pause the video. We'll come back when we need to make some more input. Uh, the time at the bottom is real time, so you'll see the time jump, but that is real time, so you'll see exactly how long the installation takes. And we're back. We're just waiting for the system to finish final rebooting. Once it's rebooted, then we'll need to log into the system with our root login and our password. And next we'll be presented with the installation script. Yes, we'd like to enable NTP and synchronize our clock. Very important. We just have to answer a few simple questions once this is up and running. We do want to use Manage No VLAN Mode. Our public Ethernet address is ETH0, same with our private. And we're basically going to take all the defaults here. We could change these if needed, but it doesn't, doesn't matter in this case. These defaults are correct. Now we must give the IP of range for the public IP addresses. In this case, we're just going to give it 192.168.211.100 through 125. It's a very small cloud. Our services are starting now for the cloud, for the cloud front end. Once all the services are started, we need to register a couple of the components. First one being the public IP address for the cloud controller, the Walrus, and the cluster controller. And this is all on one machine, so it's the same IP address. What is the public I or the private IP address for the storage controller? All those components will now be registered with the cloud. Once those are registered, the last thing we need to do is add our node controller. And the node controller is on a separate machine. That's what we did in part one. So that is a separate IP address. So 192.168.211.11. 
and now we just provide the root password of our node controller and since we only have one node controller on this cloud we just hit enter for no more node controllers to be registered and the last part is we would like to build an EMI or a eucalyptus machine image off of the CD we could also do this off the internet but the CD has all of the things that you need to build one make sure your installation CD isn't in, in the disk it's in the drive and we want to build a small image just for test purposes this will run for a couple minutes and we'll come back at the end and we're back we're almost finished with the installation just a couple more minutes here we do not want to install another EMI we do not want the graphical desktop and we're finished we're just going to run a couple commands to check the health of the we'll run yuka dash describe dash availability zones space verbose just to check the health of the cloud and what we're looking for here is that max column we want to see that we have available resources run one last command you could describe images to see that we have that image that we just uploaded registered and we're done the cloud is healthy and ready to go thanks for watching